Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're starting off in the nether, which I feel like you guys don't often get to see, the nether hub here. It's uh, pretty organized, which is cool, and it's expanded a lot, especially with all the newcomers. Um, and this is sort of where I want to be today, this is the, the nether roof. And uh, I want to bust a hole in the nether roof today, because there's... There's been a few incidences where I guess people have logged out in the nether and uh, have spawned on the nether roof and have had to help get them down. So I'm thinking I want to I want to actually bust a hole in the in the nether roof. So if that ever happens again, um, you know people can get down very easily. Now someone made this uh, this ladder up to here so that there's uh, there's tunnels out to all four corners. I think it might have been. I don't know, grey or, or gory or something, I'm, I'm not sure, someone did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'll bust a hole in this, uh, yeah, zero, zero uh, coordinate here, so that, yeah, anyone, uh, anyone who gets stuck on the nether roof can uh, can get down. Okay, I'm gonna turn up my, my brightness for your viewing pleasure, I feel like that'll be easier for you to see. Uh, this spot here is not the most optimal spot to break... Uh, to break bedrock, I'm gonna have to break a lot of bedrock around it to have this exact spot um, kind of be the be the hole. Um, if you want to know how to break bedrock in Beta Minecraft, I actually have a tutorial on how to get onto the Nether roof and actually yeah break bedrock. So I'll leave that linked in the description um, and maybe in the card for you guys to check out. Um, but yeah, let's get started on this. I think yeah we'll start by breaking this one. I think um, put that there, put that there, pop. Uh, flick that one, bop, bop, flick that, flick that, and that didn't work, why didn't that work? Okay, wait, that was my bad, I totally forgot you had to retract the piston after you did it, so, uh, let's put that there, uh, flick that, put that there, and then that, there we go, and then retract, boom, there we go, now it's gone, how good. Okay, so this should be the last layer here, so let's, uh, let's get it done. Boop, boop. Uh, get really, I feel like the, the more you do this, the better you get at it. You just, like, memorize the, uh, the pattern of what to do, which is, uh, which is handy. It's quite good. Alright, let's, uh, get this piston in here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Get this one in. Yep. Bah. Nope. <laughs> this part. This part's probably the most annoying part of this one. You have to kind of get it right. There we go. There we go. And now let's put this one in there. There we go. All right. And place that there and break that. Boom. Just saw it. If we break this, there we go. We have access to the nether roof. On back to beta. There we go, and it's at zero, zero. As you can see, I had to remove a ton of bedrock here. <laughs> uh, but definitely worth it. It'll, uh, it'll look really cool. So let me remove all this. And I think I'll make like a ladder um, up and down from it. Okay, so quite a decent amount of bedrock removed, which is cool. Um, and then there's the, there's the ladder there. So I'm thinking I might just continue this, uh, continue this up here like this, and I did bring some ladders with me. So if you ever need to get onto the nether roof for any reason, there we go. We now officially have a hole on the nether roof in back to beta. 
and then we've also got you know these uh, these tunnels here so yeah we could probably uh, break a bit of this out as well just to expand this top section so it's a bit more uh, defined maybe even change this uh, out to be netherrack because uh, or you know to not be netherrack because it's a bit a uh, bit ugly but yeah there we go all right so as you guys can see I've replaced the netherrack uh, that the ladder was on with smooth stone slabs, just the regular kind, not the not the crash slabs, and I think it looks much better. I think we could do something to make this uh, this look a lot better um, in general, but I don't know. For now, it's good. Um, it's purely functional anyway. And then yeah, you sort of come up here, and as you can see, I've kind of cleared out um, all of the netherrack that was sort of in in these little bedrock kind of gaps here, just so there's a bit more space up here. Um, it would be cool to have some signs as well to kind of indicate what direction is what, um, and if there's any monuments anywhere um, in the future. And uh, yeah, we've got the got it looking nice. Yep. So that's the that's the conclusion of the bedrock hole. Very cool. Alright, but back in the overworld now, we're back at our main base, and I want to do some beautification of this area. This place looks a little bit, I don't know, kind of open and bare for me. I put these grass blocks in ages ago, and intended to put some, like, kind of, um, I don't know, shrubbery and features here, but I kind of might reconsider that now, because I don't want it to really block the view of this. But I have turned the, where these were sand before into grass, um, because these I definitely want to make some kind of shrubbery, um, or, you know, some actual kind of, some bush, so it's kind of a bit of a, a almost like an oasis kind of feel, um, especially when you're standing outside. Um, like, you know, on, on the outside it's, it's desert and it's kind of coarse and dry, but on the inside you can really see it's like kept up you know, nicely, and it, it looks all nice and that, and I want to do that with kind of birch, um, birch trees, big birch kind of trees, I want to try and build some custom trees here, um, and see how they look, I also have a cool idea for something, uh, for something else that I, that I saw a little while back, but I, uh, I can't remember who, who I saw it from, but I think it's a really cool looking, um, looking thing, in fact, I'll show you what, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So something like this, where the flowers are sitting on top of till dirt. I didn't know you could do this. Okay, I guess that one's not hydrated. I need to hydrate it. It looks even better when it's hydrated as well, but um, I did actually... I put some water underneath. Where did I put that? Okay, I guess water can't hydrate from underneath. Uh, but if, if I put this here, it should hydrate. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've never seen this done uh, too often, and I really like the way it looks. And I think this kind of effect added to, um, you know, some kind of big birch trees um, will look really cool. And I'm going to have sort of, you know, a bit of a bit of a canopy of leaves. Um, and then, yeah, maybe some hedges and, and things like that. So I think I'm going to try and play around with that. I'm going to start with the trees because I think those are the main kind of focal points, I guess, and then add these like little details like this um, later down the line. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Okay, so I haven't built many trees or custom trees in Minecraft before, but I've plotted out three spots, oh, three, four spots where I want the trees to be, and I think this is about as high as I want them to be, maybe, yeah, sort of to there, and I want the canopy to kind of be there, just to kind of cover up that space, and it'll go across the there. Now, this is the, the daunting part. I'm not really sure where to start with the trees. The only, the only experience I've had with custom tree building is uh, my cherry tree in my Let's Play world. So I'm going to kind of just... Do what I did there and make it up as I go. So yeah. Okay, so I'm starting with a bit of a just a, a base kind of shape here, and then I'm just gonna kind of try and maybe add some like detailing on sort of here, maybe like thicken up this this base kind of like this. Uh, I don't know, and then turn it into roots, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to kind of thicken it up a bit, you know, make it look a bit more natural and organic, I guess. Okay, we've got some kind of a base in there. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, is that fine for a base? I don't know, I feel like that's maybe a bit too much. Especially if we're going to have like multiple of them, it might be just too much birch. Okay, let us uh, let me try adding some stuff to the top, I guess. And we'll see. I 
I don't really know what I'm doing. Ooh, okay, that was a good addition right there. Okay, I actually don't mind that. I think initially I was picturing a little less messy, but I feel like that that's coming mainly from the base. But the base looks weird if it's not messy. Hmm, maybe I'll try cleaning up the base slightly so the focus is a bit more on top. Like that, if we get rid of that, yeah, maybe that looks better. Maybe that does look better. And if we extend that out just a little bit flat-wise, I think we'll be on the money there. Now it's a little bit thin on this back side. We gotta thicken this up a little bit. So let's do that. I wanna make sure it looks good from all angles uh, because that's the idea is that it's seen from all angles a bit. Maybe that's good. So let's maybe like extend this out a little bit. Maybe have a couple of branch offs here. Maybe something like that. I don't know. And we'll just see where this goes, I think. Let's just see where this goes. Oops, let's don't want that. I'm kind of just kind of just making this up as I go. Like I said before. I feel like this is all just, yeah, all just a bit of nonsense. Don't mind that, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Just needs a little more, like, structural support, I guess, under these branches. And that'll look good. It even looks good from kind of all angles right now. And we may need to just jut up just slightly. I'm worried this canopy might be a bit too big, because I don't want it to, like, kind of obscure too much of that and this you know we'll see okay uh, I'm gonna add a little more birch to the undersides of these just to give it a little more structural support oh yeah okay that's looking that's looking nicer hell yeah okay I don't mind that custom trees are so daunting man I don't understand I don't mind that. That's an interesting looking tree, I think. It's a bit of a, it's a bit messy, but I don't mind it. I feel like a tree in Minecraft is something you can fiddle around with forever. And with the canopy, we're going to have to figure out where the logs are going to go to sustain the uh the, the leaves. And I'm going to try I'm going to try using different colored leaves to, you know, show the shadow and the uh so the lighter and the darker kind of portion of it. I think my next step is going to be adding like big bunches of bushes on the main extremities, kind of the main main parts of the of the tree, and then connect connect those from there, and then I guess add the detail of the wool and the and the leaf color maybe. So these are the different leaf colors uh, in the desert. So if we go like that. Now, interestingly, this one is really orange, whereas these two are still quite green. So I'm trying to decide which is the best. Which is the best, because I I don't know, the birch leaves are very, very muted color, whereas these are like, obviously shadow. I think if we go primarily birch, and then use this on top, It'll make an interesting kind of glow effect. Or maybe you have like this kind of in between, maybe. It'll have an interesting kind of glow effect. And then this is like the shadow. Yeah, alright. We'll, we'll try and use birch predominantly, I think. Let's bring this out by three. And then... Up. Oh. This feels like a bit too many leaves. I feel like this feels... Maybe this is right. I don't know. Uh, 
yeah, because there's obviously going to have to be leaves underneath, but I think right now I'll, wor I'll just worry about this, uh, this top section. Dare I say this is kind of a bit of fun? I think mainly that's just because I don't do it very often, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say in general this is fun, I'd just say it is fun doing something a little out of the comfort zone, a little different. Like this, I feel like I feel like I, I I feel like I push myself out of the comfort zone uh, with this whole project. Honestly, every single episode, I've been pushing myself out of the comfort zone of what I'm I'm used to in Minecraft. But um, this is this is extra out of the comfort zone. I've only ever done this like one other time, and I use like wool for the leaves, and now have to worry about like where the wood had to be and things like that. So yeah, a bit less bit less intense, but I feel like something like this could be cool. I think that leaf is going to decay, but... Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at what this looks like, because up here it looks okay, but it's probably going to look like ass down the bottom. But... Keep in mind, it's going to be really flat on the bottom, so let's let's have a look. Let grab these. Let's take a step back. Let's get this sheep real quick. That actually looks good. Kinda. Obviously, like I said, flat underneath, but that's where we're going to add, like, not only the birch, but also the, the spruce underneath. And then we can also, I think we can also add, if, after we add the spruce in and stuff, we could also add maybe, like, some little, little bitty bits coming out the side here if we need to but yeah let's check this out from all angles that looks pretty good the yeah okay i think once that bottom part is filled in that canopy will look right obviously right now it looks a little flat like i've been saying but i like that nice i think that'll look really good when there's a few more in as well oh the canopies are gonna touch i'm okay with that and they can be like kind of different heights as well. They don't all have to be that high. Let me try adding a bit more of the under underbelly stuff, which I'm going to do a combination of birch and spruce. So spruce sort of in the nooks and like the very bottom parts, and then birch kind of lining it occasionally. So if we kind of line this, oh my god, it's getting dark again. Let me fluff that up slightly. And I think it'll be quite thin. Definitely dark there. The birch there. Kind of like that, I think. Like, is that too much? Or is that not enough? It's hard to know. Kind of almost need to go around the whole tree to see. I feel like this would be light there. Even that would be light, because it's quite a thin branch. And then maybe we can have... No, we can have light there as well. Uh, okay, definitely thick up in here. Boop, boop, boop. Thick there. Thick there. Let's, let's go thin in here. I'm defining it by kind of thick and thin. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Let's move a little more out this way. Are you after me, spider? Go away. Go up. Go home. You're drunk. Okay, I think this is looking alright. Let us let me get rid of the scaffolding and kill that spider. And we'll have a look at what this looks like, because I think that looks okay. Spider's like, dude, it's raining meter by meter cubes of dirt. Oh my god. Dude, this guy is so persistent. He wants me so bad. I've never been wanted more in my life. Look, okay, he wants me so bad. Okay, you gotta go. I'm sorry. Alright. Tree reveal. Okay. That's looking good. I I like that. That's been yeah, that's that's I feel like I that's the perfect kind of amount of, of extra bushage. Bushage. Yeah, it's definitely a new word. Bushage. <laughs> you can't even say it right. Okay, I think that shading was really good. Let's try adding some of the uh, oak leaves on top. And I think these, I'm going to add, like, a bit more sparse. 
Like, because I think they're going to stand out quite a lot in the context. Highlight here. So if we go like that, for example. And I want it to be kind of... I feel like it should be little, almost like spheres of highlight, maybe. So kind of like... Did I break one there? Kind of like that, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Little spheres of, of highlight is good. Honestly, maybe this whole maybe this whole thing here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that looks cool. Like a little arm, you know? Like a little blob of, of color, I think is good. Maybe I can have this come down by one as well. Okay. And now I think one more in this spot here would be good. So if we go one, two, three, four. Okay, wait, let's... I do want to kind of have the birch poking through as well. Sort of like that. Okay. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Kind of like that. Maybe that one as well. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It is very subtle, you know? Very subtle. And that's what's good about it. Because I think you really... You really subconsciously can take in that shading. You know? Like, it clearly makes it darker underneath. And lighter up the top. Let me know in the comments, guys. But I think that looks... I think that looks quite good as a canopy. And as a whole tree, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I really want to change anything about that. Nothing really comes to mind. Except for adding, like... Maybe one sort of leaf patch, maybe? Yeah. Something like that. Or, actually, wait, I've had a thought that uh, has come from... You guys remember that concept art we got ages ago with the, with the, with the wood? Adding that little extra detail, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 that's going to look good. Like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Stuff like that. That little extra additions. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna make this. That's gonna pull this. This tree together. Let's try adding in this wool as well. I think. I like that under the slab. It works. Okay. That. Wh okay. White wool actually goes really well with birch. I thought it would have like contrasted a bit more than I thought, but uh, I guess not. Uh, okay. There's already one there. Okay, maybe that dark gray wool isn't the strat. It is just the light, the the light white wool. Yeah, that one should be wool. I'm just arbitrarily deciding these things. I feel like I feel like there's probably some visual aspect to it, but it feels a little random. Alright, let's step back and have another look. I didn't even put the wool in. I'm actually so dumb. Yes. Good, good choice. What is, th oh, it's birch. Why does it look weird? Yeah, okay, that's looking good. It, it like, you don't notice it, but you notice it, you know? Alright, well, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't have any other additions in mind. We've got the, we've got the spruce, we've got the birch, we've got the oak leaves. We've got the wood slabs, and then we've got white wool. I feel like that is a pretty good tree. I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that, if I'm honest. If you guys have any ideas in the in the comments, let me know, and uh, I'll try and implement them. But yeah, that's a that's pretty much the the design of the tree, and kind of my my thought process on how to actually design this kind of tree. And now I just got to do it seven more times. <laughs> uh, seven more unique trees. I'll probably vary the heights and, uh, you know, the shapes and stuff, obviously. But the general concept of how I kind of go about creating this tree um, will, will stay exactly the same. But, yeah. Nice. Alright, but sometime later, I have added three more trees in this space, and now you can kind of see what the full kind of vision is looking like here with these trees, and I think they look really good. I'm actually so, so happy with how all of these have turned out. I'm pretty, pretty proud, honestly. Like, I think 
building building trees in Minecraft, custom trees, is pretty daunting. And uh, yeah, it's not something I've, I've done much. And I think these turned out pretty pretty well. I basically just did the same uh, same process, build process I did for this one for each of them, playing a little bit with the uh, with the shapes and the sizes. Obviously, this one was quite small. This one I wanted to have it be a bit more thicker on this side rather than this one. It's like this axis. And then this one I thought would be quite unique, it's like right next to this wall, so I thought if I shifted it over a bit and had it kind of leaning against the wall would be kind of cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how these have turned out and they've got all the, you know, the wool and the, and the, and the wood slab detailing and they look good from all, uh, all angles, which I'm, I'm, that's, I'm most proud of that honestly, <laughs> the fact that I, that it looks okay from all angles. Now, one of my favorite things about having these in here now is actually the further back you get, the more full the area looks. Before, you could tell it was just a big open space behind it, um, but now when you step back here, look, it just frames frames that even more. Like, you just see there's so much stuff going on in here, which I love. I think that's such a cool effect, like that. And then even when you walk across to this side over here, you can see it like that, and it does help block a bit of that, that view. Now, that part's a little bit open there. We might have to do something about that, but I just think it, yeah, it really helps helps block the view of the area. Now, I haven't done this side yet. I do plan on uh, on adding those in here, but I have run out of time for today's video. I do think uh, in the next episode, uh, well, by the next episode, I'll have all the rest of the trees built, and I'm gonna start working on the uh, the detailing in here with the uh, with the flowers on the tilled dirt and things like that. But this is a pretty cool start, and I and I will tell you what, I actually really enjoyed the process of building these. At first, it was quite scary and daunting because you just don't know whether it's gonna look look good. But I feel like I kind of got into a good rhythm and kind of a bit more of an understanding of how to kind of try and make them look good. And I hope you guys think they look good too. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, um, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters!